The Robot Assisted Dressing offers an opportunity to benefit the lives of many people with disabilities, such as some older adults. However, robots currently lack common sense about the physical implications of their actions on people. We present a deep recurrent model that predicts the forces a garment will apply to a person's body during physical human-robot interaction. The robot predicts these forces using only haptic and kinematic measurements from its end effector and does not use visual information. Our model consists of two components, an estimator and a predictor. At each time step, our model predicts the forces applied to a person given a proposed action by the robot as well as haptic and kinematic measurements from the robot's end effector. When combined with model predictive control, our robot can select actions that minimize the predicted forces applied to a person during dressing. Collecting training data from real-world physical human-robot interaction can be time-consuming, costly, and can put people at risk. Instead, we train our predictive model using data collected in an entirely self-supervised fashion from a physics-based simulation. This simulation allows us to measure all forces applied to a simulated human during a dressing task. We evaluated our approach with a PO2 robot that attempted to pull a hospital gown onto the arms of 10 human participants. The robot selects actions at each time step based on a cost function which primarily focuses on minimizing predicted forces. When the robot used a prediction horizon of 0.2 seconds, we observed emergent behaviors in which the robot was able to fully pull a hospital gown up a participant's arm. We also explore how performance changes as the prediction horizon decreases. With a horizon of 0.05 seconds, the robot was still able to pull the gown around a person's elbow, yet the robot failed to do so with a horizon of 0.01 seconds. Similarly, we consider how well the robot is able to prevent the garment from getting caught on a person's arm. With 0.01 and 0.05 second horizons, the robot failed to recognize soon enough that a garment will get caught and apply large forces onto a person's hand. However, with a prediction horizon of 0.2 seconds, the robot is able to successfully recognize that continuing to move forward will apply large forces. The robot instead lowers the gown closer to a person's arm to lower forces and mitigate the catch. Overall, our results suggest a robot can predict the physical implications of its actions and use these predictions to provide better physical assistance.